Already? Arthur! Arthur! Mr. Morgan! Mr. Morgan! Mr. Pearson? What well, now? You sweating yet, Dutch? Of course I'm sweating. We're in some disease ridden, swampy, Dixie whistling shithole. <laughs> uh, I meant about what Trelawney said about these bounty hunters. Well, not sweating as such, but maybe a little gentle perspiration. <laughs> Until we know more, ain't too much harm in wasting good liquor on sweating. So? So, I think you should pay Mr. Trelawney a visit and find out exactly what he knows and who he spoke to. Take Charles with you. Oh, the sight of the pair of you would make a statue sing out its secrets. Okay. Charles, I need you for some business in town. Come on. Okay. wants us to have a talk with Trelawney about these bounty hunters who are coming for us. Hoping he can tell us who they are or where they're coming from. Okay. Hey, wait for me! Someone got here first. So it seems. By the looks of things, it wasn't a social call. Check the house. Gone. Shit. This don't look so good. Well, he clearly ain't here, so where is he? Hmm. Let's take a look around. Bed's not made, so he must have been here recently. What do you think? Found anything? This food's barely touched. Looks like he left in a hurry. You see anything there?
Big struggle. Pretty recently, I'd Look, say. I guess tracks. maybe uh, 12 hours Come ago. On. But no body? Not yet. Come on, girl. Mm. They went down the path here. How's your tracking these days? All right, I guess. Hmm. Well, leave. Where then? Not the kind of place I'd expect to see Trelawney staying in. No? Normally scams himself into the best hotel in town. You know, when me and Javier went down with Trelawney to get Sean, after the bar... I swear, he talked the whole way and... ...actually said a damn thing. I thought you knew. That's his special talent. They could be 20 miles away by now. We can track them that far if we need to. Depends on how much I find them. Yeah. I still ain't sure about that. See? They must have crossed over the tracks. Whoa! Huh. They seem to head into the forest now. Hey, look. Let's go see what those fellas have to say. Whoa. Easy! Snow! <laughs> what are you doing? seen him. <clears throat> we're, uh, we're looking for our friend. I don't think he's here. Ah, <laughs> uh, you seen a strange sort of fella? Sort of formal? Strange? Sure. Formal? Nah. He uses a cane. Looks a lot like this one. Yeah. All right, you two. Where the hell is he? You both better get out of here. Come in. Son of a bitch! Okay! Okay, for Christ's sake! They took him to a cabin. Over by the cornfields. Which cornfields? Left! Down the path there by Braithwaite Manor. Let me see you again, you hear me? You got lucky there, my friend. Let's go. Follow me. I think there's a way around so we don't have to go through the Braithwaite's place. Yes. I've spent enough time there. After you, then. You okay? I'm good. What do you think they want with Trelawney? Could be any one of a hundred things. Just depends if any of them involve us. You think he'll talk? Of course he'll talk. He'd sell his own sister to save a train fare. 
He don't know how not to talk. He don't know where we're holed up, though. At least I don't think he does. I don't know why Dutch still deals with him. Always disappearing for weeks on end. He's got his uses, and, well, loyalty matters to Dutch. Of course. But is Trelawney loyal? Yeah, kind of. I guess Trelawney ain't exactly disloyal. Just got a big mouth. Don't worry. If he talked, I've got to damn find out what he said. Nothing's ever straightforward where Trelawney's involved. Learn that much. I mean, how much time have we wasted getting this fool out of trouble? He somehow manages to be both lucky and unlucky at the same time. <laughs> That's one way of looking at it. But he always finds some way to pay us back. Just when we think about cutting him loose, he brings us something big. I guess that's his special talent, keeping fish on the line. Must be it. Let's get you out of here. Come on, boy. The thing is, after that sack, this will be remembered like a good time. Put the man down, gentlemen. Is that the lot of them? I, I think so. Uh, so you're uh, alive. Allegedly. Well, don't worry, they won't be for much longer. Look, go get them, Arthur. I can handle this. Don't deal with them, my brother. Don't let them get away. Could have told them anything. They've gone into the cornfields. We need to flush them out. Over here. 
He's dumped his gear. Look around. He can't have gone far. Keep look. King Arthur, he must be close. Take him and get out of here. You have my friend. Is he not your friend? I'll give you money. Be quiet. Come on. He, he should have taken the money. I know. I'm a fool. Oh, shit. Thank you. The gunshots are coming from that barn! be the last of them. <sighs> all right, let's go back for Trelawney. You all right? Yeah. Never goes easy, does it? Sure don't. Come on. Let's go see how badly they beat up the slippery feller. I wonder how much trouble he's brought with him. <laughs> Guess we'll soon find out. <laughs> Seems like we can't catch a break now, Arthur. Our luck's held this long. We got out of worse scrapes than this one. Mm, so I heard. <laughs> sure. What's government agents and bounty hunters to us? Uh, I hope you're right. Mr. Trelawney, where are you? Over here, dear boy. Well, he's still here at least. Put your feet up, why don't you? You okay? Never finer. So, who was they? Uh, they were bounty hunter. Uh, attached to Cole Stoudemire. Okay. They weren't looking for me, per no. se. What you tell them? Not much. I told them I was an intellectual. Come down here from Oregon, looking for a job at the university. Of course, they didn't believe me. Seems you stirred up quite a hornet's nest in Blackwater. So I keep hearing. It might be best if I stay with you gentlemen for a while. Can't go back to that caravan now. All right, Charles. You take Trelawney back to camp. I'll catch up with you. Okay. Bounty hunters, Pinkertons, lawmen. Everywhere we go, there's more and more civilization. Perhaps this is it from now on. We shall see, I guess.